Welcome back to Bradley's Garage. Today we want to give you an update on our little Kia Sludge Factory project. I don't know if you guys seen that first video, but uh, we'll link that in the description below. All right, so let's just take a little look here. I got some light on it for you guys. Oh boy. Oh man, this is dirty. This is dirty. Not good. All right, well this will be a, a, a really good test for the uh, Liquid Molly engine flush. So. We might have to do it twice. This is uh, this is pretty caked on. Oh man, this is just clumpy, clumpy. Kia Sludge Factory, it, it in the flesh. Oh boy. Thanks again for all the feedback. You guys have been great. Uh, appreciate all the advice, all the tips. So we're gonna take some of that and we're gonna do a second video here. First step, we wanna do a compression check. Uh, a lot of you guys are asking, how's the engine doing? How's it running? So we wanna get a baseline, let you guys see where it's at. And then we're gonna do a couple of oil changes. First one, we're gonna do just a quick diesel flush, a quart of uh, diesel in with the oil, new filter. And then finally, we're gonna drain that out and do another oil change with the Marvel Mystery Oil and run it about 20-25% uh, ratio oil to Marvel Mystery Oil and run that for 300 miles and see where we're at. So let's get into it. All right, so we got the engine uh, nice and hot. We just uh, came from a long drive. So we're gonna start working with a, a nice warm engine. So step one, pull off the engine cover and then we're gonna pull out these coil packs and get the plugs out. So now that we got the, the plugs out, we're ready to go ahead and just disconnect the fuel injectors. So we're just gonna disconnect those. So now we're not gonna get any gas in the cylinder. Now we're ready to do the check. Just make sure you have the 12 millimeter adapter for these small, uh, the Korea, Korean cars, I guess they use this, the 12. So just make sure you got that. <coughs> And based on the, the Kia manual, it says that we need to have at least 164 is the minimum and should be at uh, around 185. So we're just gonna hook up our little NOCO here, make sure we have a good 12 volt supply, give it a little boost. Uh, all right, hold the gas pedal to the floor, crank it for a few seconds. All right, so we were looking at 185, 190, 195. So it's uh, just a touch over 200. So we'll just write 200 for the first. Okay, second one. Okay. So, uh, oh, yeah, it's right there. We'll call it. 197, it was a, a line with less. Third one. Okay. Okay, about the same. 180, 185, 190. 195, all right, the fourth one. Okay. Yeah, 197. All right, well, compression all looked good. It's a little bit higher, but you know, who knows the accuracy of the gauge. The most important thing is you want to have consistency across the four cylinders, plus or minus a few percent. So it looks like we're good there. Uh, turn off our boost. And uh, so let's go ahead. We're gonna throw these coil packs, uh, smart plugs, everything back in, and then we're gonna drain that oil. Let's see what's, uh, what the engine looks like on the inside after that 700 mile trip. Okay, so we got the first oil change. We got the oil out, we drained it. We're gonna get our little paint strainer here, put it in. This is basically 700 miles. So let's see, the oil actually doesn't look that bad, surprisingly. And uh, let's see what we got. Let's see if we got anything in here. Any particles, any sludge residue. Wow. 
Wow, surprising. So it's either we still have some stuff in there that's stuck uh, on the walls or, uh, I mean, we've got it pretty clean. I think there's gotta be some stuff in there. So the plan is uh, let's go ahead and do the diesel flush. Let's do one quart of diesel with some fresh oil and a fresh filter. And let's uh, run that for 20 minutes and then we'll do the same thing. We'll dump it out and we'll see if anything washes out from that point. Okay, so we found a little bit of particles in the bucket after dumping it out. You can see a couple little things here. Let's pull out the oil filter and see what's inside that. Well, maybe we'll cut it in half. I'll show you guys inside. All right, uh, so we got the oil filter off. We let it drain. So we're just gonna see if we got any, any particles inside the oil filter. It doesn't look like it. Like I said, the oil is still, it doesn't even look that bad. 700 miles. So still has some color to it. It's not black. That's a good sign. But just to be thorough, we'll go ahead and do a, a, a washout. I mean, it's not gonna hurt anything. So let's idle it for 20 minutes with the diesel and uh, see if we get anything. All right, so we went back, we uh, cut the oil filter in half. Obviously there's gonna be metal shavings from cutting it, but we're just looking for uh, sludge to see. And everything looks, uh, uh, actually looks really clean. I don't see any buildup of anything. We're just gonna take a little diesel. We got the drain plug out right now. We're just gonna do a quick little uh, wash with diesel. So we're just gonna do a slow pour. See if we can wash anything. See if they really, it's is, is there anything in the bottom of the pan, you know, just sitting there? We kind of have the car on ramp, so it's at a slight angle. So let's see if we can wash out any, any little bits out of the oil pan. Okay, we'll let that drain for a few minutes and then see where we're at. Here's a good shot of uh, the paint strainer after everything kind of drained down and had a few minutes to fully um, settle, if you will. So not much, not much stuff in there, guys, honestly. So this is the, we ran the quart of diesel through it. So we're just gonna go ahead and get a new paint strainer and we're gonna see what kind of stuff we get now. We got a, a few, a few little tiny bits in there. As you can see, not bad. A couple little things hanging around. So let's go ahead and just uh, get our oil filter on, put in oil, throw a little oil into our filter. Since it's straight upright, makes it a little bit easier. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put in uh, approximately 3.2 quarts of oil. And then that last quart will be our diesel. Put in that point two. Okay, that's good. Now we're gonna go ahead and get our one quart of diesel. One quart equals 32 ounces, FYI. So we'll fill up our container here. I know some guys were out there, they were saying you could run it uh, for a few minutes with just straight diesel. So, I mean, there's some lubricating properties, but I don't know, I'd be a little worried 
just diesel only, but I think one quart with diesel will be a good mix and give us an opportunity to wash it out. See if we got any remaining stuff floating around in that crankcase. All right, so now let's go ahead and start it up. We're gonna idle it for 20 minutes and then we'll drain it, put it through the strainer again and see if we got anything else coming out. Uh, go ahead and let's, uh, let's fire it up. Okay, so we'll let it rot, idle for 20 minutes and we'll be back. We let the car idle for 20 minutes with the diesel flush. Now we're gonna drain the oil again and then put it through the strainer, show you the, if there's any debris. We grab a brand new paint strainer, so let's pour it through to see if there's any debris that breaks loose from the 20 minute diesel idle flush. There are only a couple of fine particles that easily break down into mush when touched. So not much there, guys. Now it's time to move on to the final step. We have another new filter and oil, and this time we'll be adding Marvel Mystery Oil at a 25% ratio. So basically one quart to four quarts. We're gonna drive it exclusively on the freeway this time. So long, hot trips for the 300 plus miles. And we're planning on doing, you know, an hour trip each. So minimum drive time of an hour. Adding the 3.2 quarts of oil to the engine. Then we're going to add the one additional quart of MMO, Marble Mystery Oil. And now that all that's left is to get it out on the road, freeway, and drive it for 300 plus miles. And then we'll bring it back and do another oil change. All right, guys, so uh, we drove, uh, actually, we were planning on driving 300, but we ended up uh, taking some freeway jaunts, and so we did about 420 miles with the Marvel Mystery Oil. So let's go ahead and drain that and see if there's anything inside. So while we got the pan uh, draining, we're gonna go ahead and start removing everything again. And we're gonna pull off this valve cover and take a look inside and see how clean it looks after all the numerous flushes we have done on this guy. All right, so uh, we got the oil drained. So let's go ahead and bring it over here and let's run through our paint strainer again, like we did on the other ones. And see if we get any debris, anything we find. I, I didn't notice anything, but you never know what we find. As you can see, a couple little stragglers, but all in all, really nothing, nothing in there to be worried about. All right, so let's get that valve cover off and let's see what what it looks like underneath there. Okay, we pulled everything off. Everything's unplugged. Give it a little wiggle. Oh, sorry guys, I forgot to pull the dipstick. All right, well, I don't know. We have to compare a before and after, after the last video, and see what it looks like compared to now. Did the diesel flush or the MMO flush, did it actually do anything in the roughly, what has that been? A um, 1,000 miles basically, so 700 after the first flush, and then we did just the 20 minute flush with the diesel, and then we did about 400 miles with the MMO, so. Um, yeah, you gotta just look at the picture side by side to really see what it looks like. So next up, let's drop the pan and see if we find anything in there. Let's get this pan off. Ooh. Ah, let's see. 
I don't see anything obvious. Not like before, when it was full of stuff. Yeah, looks pretty good. Let's see my little goop on. Looks like that, that line was a little bit too thick. So I'm still a little bit thinner on this one. All right, let's get it cleaned up and then uh, get it reassembled. So just taking a look, I mean, I don't think it's much different than uh, what we saw before. If we go like this, uh, you know, you can kind of, you, know, you can't really wipe it off. I guess there's some instances where you could wipe it off, but generally, I don't know how many miles you'd have to drive and expect this to look new again, but yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it looks good. I mean, the most important thing is that the sludge is gone. They don't have anything in the pickup. There's nothing in the pickup tube, so it looks spotless. Uh, so yeah, I think we got it. This is about the cleanest we can, we're gonna get it. So let's get it back together. All right, so we're just gonna prep the pan again. We got our right stuff gasket. We'll try to use a little bit less this time. It's a little, a little thick. All right, so we got our new filter from Kia and we got a new crush washer. So we're gonna go ahead and we got our mobile one. We're gonna be using this high mileage. I don't know, you know, it's a, supposedly has a little bit more detergent in it. So we'll run this for about 3000 miles and see where we're at, see if we're burning any oil, really just give kind of an overview of how things are looking. So we're gonna go ahead and get it open. We're gonna pre-fill the filter. to get our valve cover back on. Let's go ahead and give this a little wipe. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and replace our crush washer. It's only like a buck, just a good peace of mind. You could probably reuse it, you know, a couple of times. It doesn't get crushed that bad, but for a buck, why not just replace it? It's easy, and just remember it's uh, 30 foot pounds. Don't over tighten it. All right, so we'll go ahead and get the valve cover slash rocker cover, get it back on. I just want to show you guys, uh, we let that settle for a while. That's everything that came out after the MMO flush. So just to give you an idea of how much debris came out of the thing. And we didn't really find any evidence. We washed out the pan and stuff. There wasn't really anything in there. So everything looks good. We got the valve cover back on. So we'll put the engine cover back on and then we're gonna go ahead and fill it up with our Mobile One 5W20. Put in our 4.2 quarts. And then, um, then the only thing we can do is just drive it. So we've done everything we can on this guy, put uh, all the time and effort into it. Uh, hopefully the engine's salvageable. All right, so let's fire it up. Sounds pretty good. Not bad, not bad. We found a little booklet. Look at this, guys. A little book for Jake. Maybe we're rubbing off on him, man. He wrote down that we did some stuff. MMO at 59.3. We're currently at 59.766, so that was 436 miles for with the MMO. So maybe he actually is taking our advice, learning something, and he'll follow through and do his oil change at 3,000 miles from now. So, all right, guys. Well, we'll keep you updated, let you know how it goes, but. We've done everything we can with this guy, so yeah, see how it, how it operates for the next 3,000 miles. Peace.